numerical computation for video number eight. In this video, we will look at an extrapolation technique due to Richardson. This will be the um, basic idea, like the core piece for an algorithm, Romberg algorithm, which we will discuss later. So the starting point is that we have computed, um, say, um, trapezoid rule, um, numerical integration to integrate a function f with a sequence of grid sizes that halves each time. So first one is at h, and then h a half, and h fourth, and then h eighth, and so on and so forth. I want to mention that this extrapolation idea does not have to be restricted to trapezoid rule. We simply take trapezoid rule as an example to fix the idea. And one can easily do it for other methods as well. So the main idea is that after we have computed this sequence of approximations in this way, um, we would like to just combine these numbers in some particular smart way to get a higher order approximation without doing anything else, just using those numbers. Let's see how we can achieve that. So the particular form of your um, eventual algorithm will depend on the error formula, and this is really important. And it is not just any error formula, it has to be a very detailed error formula. One can show that um, for the trapezoid rule, the arrow satisfy the euler maclaurin formula. And that is, it, it resembles some kind of a Taylor formula. So we assume that f to the nth derivative exists. So if f is a C infinity, then you could write infinitely many terms here. The euler maclaurin formula says your arrow, the difference between the exact integral and the trapezoid rule approximation equals to uh, some a2 times h square plus a4 times h4 plus a6 times h6 and blah blah so on. Okay. So here these coefficients a's they are just depending on the derivatives of f to the nth derivative. So in particular they do not depend on h. And the proof for this could be achieved by Taylor series, okay, but we um, will not go through that here. I would like to mention that due to the symmetry of the method, here all the odd h power terms will exactly cancel each other in the analysis, so you'll be left with only the even powers, h square, h fourth, h six, and so on. Okay, so let's um, repeat the arrow formula here on the top. That's what we had, the euler maclaurin formula. So what we do now is now we um, half the grid size. So instead of h, now we use h half, and we try to find the arrow. So the arrow formula here holds for any h. Therefore, the arrow for h half would simply be copying this formula and replace h with h half. That's what we did. We change all the h into h half here. Now, um, rewriting this equation here as the integral equals to the trapezoid rule plus the arrow, we get this equation, which we labeled equation number one. And for this equation, we also write it as if equals to the trapezoid rule plus the arrow. So that's what we write down here, where all the h's are now h half. So the goal is, um, by applying some manipulation between these two equations, we wish to cancel the leading arrow term. So where's the leading arrow term? Well, it's this term, right? The term with h squared, because we know the trapezoid rule is a second order method. So is it possible after some manipulation such that these two terms can cancel each other? So we note that the term here exactly equals to one quarter of the term here. 
So if I multiply the second equation by 4 and then subtract the first one from it, this term will be gone. Now isn't that a smart idea? Let's see how it works out. So I multiply the second equation by 4. So where does 4 come from? It's 2 squared, right? It's 2 squared. And then I have 2 squared minus 1 in front of IF. And on the right-hand side, I have 2 squared times this minus this term. And then this will be gone because they cancel each other. And then what I will have will be h to the fourth and then some the constant you add them together. Let's call it a4 prime as the constant over h4. And similarly, um, for h6, I have a6 prime. Now I can divide both sides by 3, which is this number here. And then I get this is 4 over 3 of t at h half and then one third of t at h and plus okay so this a4 prime is divided by 3 so let me call it a4 tilde and then so a6 tilde and so on and so forth so take a look at what we have achieved here this equation says the integral of f equals to this big expression here let me block it this expression here plus something that's bounded by h to the fourth which is the arrow so if we we call this u of h and then we use u of h as an approximation to the integral this actually would give us a fourth order approximation okay let's write down this fourth order approximation so u h equals to 4 over 3 t at h half plus 1 third t at h. So um, I would write it in this way. This is actually where it came from. So the denominator 3 is exactly 2 square minus 1, and then the 4 is 2 square. Okay. So this idea is called the Richardson extrapolation. The term extrapolation refers to the fact that you um, extract information outside the interval of whatever information was provided. Now we see that we don't have to stop here, do we? We could actually continue because if we generate a sequence of such u at different levels of h and h half, we can apply a similar idea keep going okay so and that will be the topic of next video where we would actually derive the basic idea for the Romberg algorithm